This Battle Forge video is sponsored by Ridge. Ridge has supported the channel for multiple years, and I'm glad to be working with them once again, showing you some more of their fantastic wallets and their new key cases. You tired of your big wallet taking up your whole pocket? Well, the Ridge wallet fits so easily, you could get like four in there. Not to mention, it can hold up to 12 cards plus your cash. And you know what's better than that? Choosing from their massive catalogue of wallets. Personally, I love the Ridge Red, but I'm also a fan of the classic forged carbon. Not to mention the new key case, which keeps all your keys in one place, as well as stopping them from poking the inside of your legs when they're in your pocket. It also makes you feel like the spy from Team Fortress 2, because you can kind of flick it around like this. Now, if you order any time before the 22nd of December, you can get up to a massive 40% off. That's right. 40 bloody percent. Just follow the link in the description or in the top comment, ridge.com slash battleforge. That's ridge.com slash battleforge for up to 40% off. Hi everyone, you join me in what looks to be random assets, but I promise this is indeed an SCP game. Uh, this is called SCP Paranormal. Uh, it's on Steam, maybe. Uh, I was given a link to it. No one else has looked at it. I don't really know what it's about. I'm kind of jumping in blind. It looked... Um, in progress. So, I'm not sure how long this video is going to be. But hey, uh, at least I got a sponsor spot. So, <laughs> hey, uh, that, that, that's good, isn't it? So, let's have a look. Um, maybe it's set in a dream or something. So, this is the place? I hope they gave me the correct coordinates this time. Unless this is meant to be... in like a desert? And we were at a bus stop? Or something? There must be a meaning to all this. This can't just be nothing. There's a reason. But it does have leaning mechanics like Rainbow Six. So, hey, maybe there will be shooting and stuff. I would aimless... Oh, actually, I was gonna say, we'd, I could aimlessly look around, but there is just stuff in the distance, so maybe we will actually be walking around aimlessly. Yeah. Alright, these guys look friendly. Let's have a chat. Stop right there. This is a restricted area. Please identify yourself. I am Battleforge, YouTuber. It's me, Agent Spring. I'm the new employee. I just got the job. Oh, right. You're in the field agent department. Agent Kyle is waiting for you. Where am oh, I? Oh, and here's your keycard. You'll need it to navigate the facility. Oh, you mean, you mean that? That's just... Okay. Oh, what I do like is this inventory screen. It gives me like um, old uh, old game vibes. I really like it. I I, I genuinely love this. This is awesome. Uh, if this looked better, <laughs> this keycard, uh, that would be impressive. Um, keycard stores a physical or digital pattern that the door mechanism accepts before disengaging the lock. Keycards are free. This is just a Wikipedia entry for keycards. Oh, what? Why is it giving me history of keycards? Okay, weird. Um. And the diary, which uh, doesn't have anything in it yet. That's fine. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I like this. This is okay. This is... Yeah, this isn't just a dream. This is real. Apparently. Hello, archive room. Um. Not compatible. Okay. Relax your arms, dude. It's not good for your health to be stood like that. Ooh. Sorry, I think I farted. <laughs> Here it works. Yes, good. FA department, R department, and bricks. Let's check here. My god. Alright guys, you alright? Agent Kyle? Was I meant to be talking to you? I wasn't actually really paying attention to the story. Good morning, Agent Spring, and welcome to your first day working at the ACP Foundation. I'm Agent Kyle, and I'll be giving you missions throughout your journey working for us. Okay. From the job application, I saw that this isn't quite a safe job. Yes, you will encounter a lot of unknown paranormal activity, so you better be prepared for this job. Mate, just play Phasmophobia. Oh, I am. That's why I accepted the job. Good. In the job application, you read everything about the job, right? Yes, I will be investigating paranormal activity all across the globe. Is paranormal activity so, the word for this? Your first mission is to investigate an old abandoned city called Zabradnik. The city was abandoned after we received a multiple reports of there being strange, hostile entities killing everyone in the city. Your mission okay. is to enter Zabradnik and investigate it so we can find out 
What happened? Any questions? No. All right then. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, let's go. I think you can hear the mouse... Oh, okay, we're off. Uh, you can hear the mouse clicks if they stop and start the recording, sir. Whoa! Holy frame rate dip. Crikey! We okay. have arrived at the location. Good. I'm going to have to stare at your crotch for a frame rate reasons. We will be in contact with you through this radio. Remember to contact us if you see anything strange. Okay, where is my radio? Are you going to spawn in front of me? Yes? No? Do I, do I have a radio? <laughs> what radio? Um, okay. I'll just pretend that it's just a, a magic item. You're doing a great job, man. My god, I have to walk into this place with this frame rate? I apologize greatly. There are many particle effects. <laughs> Too many, probably. Yeah. I ain't got no radio. That's fine. I have to say, this is a bit of a strange game. I'm getting, um, this is someone's first game vibes. Which is fine. You know, you gotta start somewhere. And hey, if there's charm, it makes up for it. Yeah, this, this game has something. I'm kind of hoping that this isn't just going to be like, oh yeah, you walked all this way, and then you're not actually allowed to it go looks in. Like the entrance is oh, okay. I have to figure out a way to go around. Goody. Uh, this way, I'm guessing. This is the only other logical looking path. Oh, convenient barrel. Oh, convenient this. Uh, I didn't really. Oh, we click on the ladder. Okay. Uh, let me off. <laughs> I can climb up a bit, but then how do I... Okay, you jump. Okay. See, there's, there's elements of absolute greatness in here. And then it's just all packaged in this quite uh, unoptimized, very shiny um, exterior. Like, why are these barriers so tall? Why am I climbing this? Why are the mountains on fire? <laughs> there are, there are, there are m many... Oh, dear. Crikey. I wish I had the frame rate up. Hmm. Blood, my favourite. Okay, uh, let's have a look around before doing anything rash. Not that I think there's going to be anything knocking around here. I think, yeah. The game seems pretty... Well, I don't have a radio, so I'm just going to ignore what I saw over there. Jesus Christ, is that a dead body? What the hell happened here? I was thinking the exact same thing, man. Actually, I was looking more at this. Uh, if you are the police or anyone who wants to help, read the notes on the desk. Okay. There's a lot of JPEGs on you, man. Uh, mission name, Operation Ghost Town, mission objective, investigate... Okay, that's fine. Please, uh, it tells you what you got to do. Uh, I'm panicking so hard right now. I don't know what happened. We're in complete isolation. Everyone is hiding in their homes and are scared to go outside. Almost the whole city is wiped out. There seem to be weird creatures roaming the city. Streets. They look like zombies. I'm pretty sure this is the start of the zombie apocalypse. People think the streets have this toxic gas that turns you into one of those things. So we may need to wear gas masks soon. I am very scared. What do I do? Do I look for supplies? Do I keep hiding and hope one of those things don't find me? I'm just going to try and survive with the supplies I have at home. I managed to survive the night. It wasn't that hard. I just hid under the, my <laughs> I just hit under my table. It was very boring though. Least of your concerns during this. I'm still scared to go outside. I heard that on TV that the military f might figure out how, what's going on. Right now, I'm just trying to survive. Looks like I will spend this whole day doing nothing except watching TV. That sounds pretty okay. Though, the TV might attract the zombies. I will just hide in my apartment until this is over. I can't leave the city because my city is in lockdown. Nothing can go in or out. It, did it seems he didn't make it. Dude. He's there. So it's day three of this hell. I've lost contact with my friends and my family members. I think they're dead. So I'm alone. I don't know what to do. I'm still hiding. Should I stop being a coward and go outside? You know what? I'm going to go outside and search for supplies and anything I can help me out. If there's no day four, that means I'm probably dead. Well, <laughs> he got from under his desk to here. Uh, what's this? Painkiller and a camera. Interesting. He didn't mention anything about picking those up. This guy's apartment sucks. Nice pointless cupboard. Nice animation, though. Okay, can I... Yeah, it's not locked. Good. Very bright. Corridor. Now nah, that's what's causing all the frame rate issues. Your kitchen's on fire, dude. Torch oil. What is going on? Did this dude just set his own kitchen on fire or something? Like, there's just so much random... Like, what's this fridge? Why are these cupboards cromulent? This fridge just isn't... Ugh, games, man. Right, I'm just gonna go this way. This looks like the way it wants me to go. 
Plus the frame rate this way is much nicer. And we are absolutely loaded up on uh, a lamp and torch oil based on natural Moco extracts for outdoor use only. It has been used for many years to repel insects. This is, I think is this is literally just... They went to wiki and copied, like, item descriptions and stuff. <laughs> Why is there a pentagon? Pentagon? Pentagram on the floor. What's going on? Why is this here? That was a load of nothing. Did this guy start the zombie apocalypse? There are many questions. Dice, oh, it's, it's so Tom. <laughs> is that? Oh no, that is him. I think he is dead. He had a room to himself and a shrine, and now he is dead. Rip in peace. Your blood may be stretched and PNG'd forever. I can take the TV. Wait, can I turn the TV on? <gasps> I can. There is nothing on TV. This is a weird apartment block, if you hadn't realised. Alright, what's going on here? Pistol bullets? Kraken. None of you get up, right? Why do you have ammo but no gun? Of course, your fingers are well messed up. I'm hoping I'll find a gun, by the way. I want to be able to shoot some stuff. Bear in mind, remember, they sent me into this place. Knowing full well that it was dangerous. And I am unarmed. Why can I blow that out? <laughs> Love it. Another dead person with a pentagram drawn around them. Yep. And on them slightly as well. Uh, what's this up here? I don't know what that is. Uh, I look like an icon for someone. Also, this um, door, cabinet, whatever, it's got TV static for its sides. I like to, I think my um, headcanon for this game is, it's all a dream. And the guy is just absolutely batshit insane. Oh man, the only interesting door, we can't go through it. Um, yeah, this is all just a dream that he's got in his head, because none of this makes sense. Um, and so... Yeah, he's just off his rocker, and that's why there's Pentagon. He's also scared of the devil. He's a devote Christian. What the? Why would somebody do this to themselves? Look around, dude. What do you think? Look at all the p pentagrams he drew on the ceiling. That's a lot of... He even got some block text and printed it out on the wall. I'm sorry, this is the only way out of this mess, yes. You could also alt F4, that'd probably help. Impressive if you hung yourself with a long table leg. Minecraft bed. Minecraft bed. How could you kill yourself? There is a Minecraft bed here and everything. You could have hung yourself with this rope, by the way. <laughs> uh, well, I think that was everything for here. It's like a, it's not a game where you do stuff. It's a game where you explore and find interesting things. And you need a supercomputer to run it. Right, we've only got one more floor to go, I think. Actually, I'm not sure. There are quite a few stories to this place, but... This all seems very, uh, collapsed. But if I don't check, I might miss something incredibly exciting. So I have to. To be scared, I'm also very scared of getting, like, trapped or something. I know this game has save states, but... Oh, I don't know. Okay, that's out. I don't want to go out yet. Um, there might be something of value in here. I, that man was very squelchy. Uh, okay, maybe not. There's nothing that way. I think the only way is out, actually. Cool. I'm glad I got pistol ammo, but no pistol, by the way. Maybe I missed the gun. But hey, I'm in the city. Is there somewhere I need to go? There's a messy fella here with more pentagram drawn around him. Just kind of looks a bit exploded on the wall. It's also a door. By the way, the frame rate is much better all of a sudden. Uh, this part, it's just over there, it's bad. Uh, we don't look at that side of the world. No, nope, that's locked. Okay, we keep a going. Dave's Coffee Shop. That seems very out of place and inviting. Let's go check that out. It seems to have a lot more attention to it than, say, that way. Ah, this must be Dave. Runner of Dave Coffee Shop. That is a female police officer with a beard? Interesting. Can they get in? No. Okay, I'm not really sure why there was so much attention to Dave's Coffee Shop here. Trademark, by the way. Um... I guess it was nothing. We'll just go through here. <laughs> By the way, this has been a few minutes of nothing. Just a lot of walking. What the hell was that? You said that before he walked past. <laughs> no, no, he's a... Uh, 
Yeah, the amazing ability to just disappear into a wall, though. That's pretty cool. Maybe he's the dangerous one. Or the zombies they're talking about. I don't know. I, I, I don't have a gun. Oh, man. Where the... Freaking hell, do I need to go? Okay, I think I need to be more linear with my exploration. Just go in a straight line. If there's other bits, I think we might have to skip. Because some places, like this entire area, it's just nothing, right? It's just there for uh, city reasons. What's my objective, by the way? Uh, still gonna try and find out what happened. I'm gonna go for, there was a dangerous entity here, as explained by uh, my boss. Ah! See? I knew! This is Agent Spring to command. Do you copy? <laughs> uh, no, I don't think they do. Copy Spring. What oh, there we do go. you need? The road ahead of me is blocked. However, there is a police station to my right, requesting permission to enter the station. Affirmative Spring. You may enter this station. Crack in. And you know what? I'm gonna damn well do that. Excuse me, gun? No. I need a police station key. Okay. Uh. Unhelpful. Do you have a key? Hmm. Um, right then. Can I just not jump through this open window? Hey, I can. Crack in. Who needs a key where you can just break and enter? Not that I think that's probably the biggest concern in this place at the moment. Oh, uh, no, that doesn't seem to open. Maybe the key is in here. If it's not in here, then what's the point of this room? Yep, yeah, nope, oh, can't see it. I don't think it's in here. And all the other windows are boarded up. And that is some interesting sewer. Hmm. Okay. Maybe I can find the key around here somewhere. By the way, this is one of these games where it's like, I can't find out where the key is, because no one's played it. I'm the, like, the first person, I think. Uh, so, if I'm lost, that's problematic. I don't, I don't think the key's here. But why is that open and bloody in there? It's just, it's like weird. Don't get stuck. Am I meant to be here or something? It's just... I don't know. Hang on. Uh, yeah. I'll just jump to if I find something of note. Like the key. By the way, I might have sussed this little secret here. What the fuck? This definitely isn't correct, by the way, but by god, I'm gonna check this out. Yeah, I don't think I'm meant to be in here. <laughs> this doesn't... Yeah, this doesn't seem right. Can I get back over there? Oh, dear. <gasps> Dark Souls. Uh, what the fuck? It's, 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 there's so many references. Well, not references, but ah, oh, we're so far back. Ah, oh, I don't have the key. Man, I bet, bet it was at Dave's coffee shop and I missed it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I've been recording this for 40 minutes and I'm all out of time. Hey, if you want to see another bit, hit me up in the comments. Um, there's probably more to this. It does seem to be going on for a bit longer. We still haven't found the mystery of uh, what happened to this place, so. Yeah, there might be a follow-up to this if enough people actually want to see it. But for now, thanks to my supporters. Catch me in my streams every Tuesday and Thursday. And I'll see you very soon for another one. Uh, I said I'd move away from SCP and here we are. Playing whatever this is. See you around.